In a press release, Costa Gasnick alleges 20 individuals wearing masks and camouflage attack workers at a Maurice River drill pad site. It states attackers use axes to break windows and attempted to set fire to a vehicle while the worker is still inside the vehicle. Photos from the company show damaged trailer buildings, heavy equipment damaged, and other vehicles flipped over. The company estimates millions of dollars in damages. The Coastal Gasling statement says the RCMP were notified and an investigation is underway. The protection of people in the environment is paramount, and we are taking a number of actions to address this incident. RCMP were called to the scene, and we understand a criminal investigation is underway. On behalf of our workers, we encourage a full investigation of those involved in the violent attack. Yesterday, the RCMP released a statement that when their officers arrived, they were attacked on the forestry road. At the 41 kilometer mark, the road was blocked by trees and fire. When officers cleared the debris, several people threw smoke bombs and sticks on fire at police, injuring one officer. This is a very troubling escalation of violent criminal activity that could have resulted in serious injury or death. This was a calculated and organized violent attack that left its victims shaken and a multi-million dollar path of destruction. While we respect everyone's right to peacefully protest in Canada, we cannot tolerate this type of extreme violence and intimidation. Our investigators will work tirelessly to identify the culprits and hold them accountable for their actions. Individuals behind yesterday's tax have not been identified. Wet'suwet'en hereditary chiefs remain opposed to the pipeline going through their territory. Last September, the conflict continued with blockades at the drill site as CGL prepared to pass part of the pipeline under the Maurice River. In November, RCMP enforced a Costa Gas Link BC Supreme Court injunction allowing CGL to operate in the area, which led to over 30 arrests. We reached out to get him down access point for a comment on the incident, but did not hear back before airtime. We will continue to follow this developing story. Lee Wilson, APTN National News, Kitimat.